the new Argentinian president, Javier Millet. It's all the rage these days. The big thing that I think we need to focus on with Javier Millet in the Bitcoiners world or sound money world or the Austrian economics world is the Streisand effect. It's the most important thing I think with any politician is talking about sound money, breaking the echo chambers. I mean, we're seeing it all over in life, just anecdotally, we're seeing it in, in all, look at Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift and people all over now thinking it was a conspiracy, it's set up by the NFL, and it may be, who knows, maybe they love each other now, they're gonna get married, uh, but that doesn't matter. The original plot being set up by the NFL or many such instances like this, people all over the world now are questioning things like they never have before. And really in America or the West, where our people where people really trust their government. And in many places around the world, there there is not a trust of government. And the Westerners are, are just catching up to this. And I, I think truly, um, you know, a while back, someone had turned me on and, uh, and many of us to this notion that getting a Bitcoin adoption is the most important thing, uh, sound money adoption and getting it incepted into people's heads, ground up, bottom up, and not that countries need to have someone come in and make Bitcoin legal tender. All these movements really have to start from the bottom up. And we've seen that all across history, that it's the bottom up that is going to really affect change. Politics is downstream from culture. I believe it was Andrew Bar uh, Breitbart who said that uh, before he passed away. And, you know, how just how succinct and how true that really is, that, you know, Politics is just a mirror of society. It's a reflection of who society really is and an amplifier. Social media is. Money is. They're just magnifiers or amplifiers making people more of what they already are, just a reflection and showing people who you really are. And I think that's the thing that we need to truly think about when it comes to stuff like this. Don't put your hopes and dreams in uh, Nayib Bukele or Javier Malay. You, you have to hope for the Streisand effect and the very fact that there are so many people that really truly do still believe in politicians and look at them as leaders. If that is the case, then we must have the words Bitcoin or sound money flapping out of their gums as much as possible because eventually there's enough people that say, hey, what is this thing? I need to look into this. And they go and do the research themselves and then they are the ones forcing change and the more support there is because at the end of the day, politicians are there to just be yuppies and, and do what their constituents are saying for the most part. And I think that's the, the really big thing we need to understand here going forward. So don't get caught up in the politicians. Don't get caught up necessarily in what Bill Kelly is doing, what countries are doing, what Malay is doing, because there's going to be stuff that you're not going to agree with or, or what have you. But the more sound money is talked about, Austrian economic principles, Bitcoin, things of that nature, even gold and silver, people outside of government fiat currencies, the IMF playbook, the World Bank pay playbook, the better. That is going to open people's eyes, going to make them, force them to go do research and figure out what is going on here, what is actually happening. And I think that, if we can hope for one thing, is that for culture to really start changing and forcing the politicians' hand. And the more the politicians are into Bitcoin and saying it, whether it's Vivek Ramaswamy, Robert Kennedy Jr., Javier Malay, the more people are talking about it. That is the Streisand effect, where just by the very act of people saying and talking about it, it's going to force people to go look and to see what is this thing? What is this Bitcoin thing? What is this? Why are people talking about this changing the world? Why are people talking about this being the the answer to inflation? Why are people talking about this? This is what we're looking for. This is the change we need. Let me know your thoughts. I think it's a super fascinating subject and, and one that uh, you really deserve some debate and, and thinking. And the more we can force culture to change from bottom up, then politicians will change that's to me the recipe let me know your thoughts share this out question everything with boldness even the existence of god himself trust but verify and this is not financial advice it is freedom advice look forward to seeing you on the next one and again thank you dj satoshi 
uh, one of my friends on Twitter for talking about this in a political Bitcoin hour that we that we run each week. I do it with BJ Dichter, um, who wrote Honking for Freedom and was really the head of the Canadian Truckers Convoy, the mouthpiece. But he brought this up uh, a while back, and it's a great conversation and really one I hadn't necessarily thought of to a degree, and it's just weighed on my mind. So thank you, DJ, for bringing this up. It's a very important subject, I think, to talk about and to really understand where we're at and helps us shape the direction we need to focus our efforts. See you on the next one.